people, this is Super Chicken from Clarksdale, Mississippi. I'm the last of the Delta Blues musicians. This is TDC Moncton. Folks, I've got a special treat for you. This man has had a special heart in my blues show for quite a long time, but he holds his own amongst many. They call him a chicken when they're happy. Yep, super chicken, as he's known. But you spell chicken differently. C-H-I-K-A-N. I learned to spell it that way when I was five years old, and the K is for cannibal. <laughs> that means I can continue eating chicken without being guilty. So tell us about your, your, uh, your in a nutshell, how many years have you been playing music? Professionally or just period? Period, because professionally and period crossover. Since I was a kid, uh, five and six years old, I was yeah. playing the diddly bow. Uh, I think I was about 15, I bought my first guitar that only had two strings on it. I thought that was all it was supposed to have, because that's all my diddly bow had. Uh, had diddly bow had one string, so that was a step up. <laughs> <laughs> so you've you've went on from your records. I remember all the the, the first one that I actually got, which was entitled uh, uh, "Blues Come Home to Roost." That's it. On Roost to Blues Records. You showed one of your homemade guitars. You specialize in that. You make your own guitar. Ah, uh, yeah. It's it come from the survival way of life. When we were poor people, we, when, when we was growing up, and. Um, we was recycling before we knew what recycling was. Cause every time we threw something away, we took a second look at it. We went back and got it and made something else out of it. Well, that's good. Yeah. So that's how you started making your own guitars. Yeah, yeah. And how many guitars do you actually have right now? Uh, I got at least about 22, 23 homemade ones that I made for myself. Really? Yeah. You won't. You don't carry around all these guitars with oh, you. Oh no, no. Uh, you, when you're flying, you can only use the limit to what you can carry. I, uh, but you probably I bring one baby. I brought three with me in one bag. Ooh. I got a, a rooster, a shotgun, and a double blade axe. That means don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, and recently, your the last project that you uh, actually participated with was was with uh, Watermelon Slim. Uh, yes, yes. Well, no, that's not the very last one, but it was in between really? my last recording at Bluesville. Sirius Satellite Radio up in Washington. I recorded the last one called Bob, called Bluesville. The name of the record is Bluesville. Oh, sweet. And uh, any new records coming down the pipe soon? Uh, yes, I hadn't started on it yet, but we fixed to get ready to do one. I'm looking for a studio now. Yeah. And your hometown is where? Clarksdale, Mississippi. Born and raised in that area, and I'm still there. That's home. You gotta love someone who stays at home, man. Eh? <laughs> it's my homebody. Uh, yeah. Um, now, I'm happy that you came to the Harvest Jazz and Blues Festival. Is this going to be, is this your first year? I think this is, is my first year and I love it. Yeah. This is one of the nicest places I've ever been. People here are so friendly. I'm like, man, did I die and go to heaven? People just walk right up to you and start talking to you, man. I like that, you know. I was standing out in front of the hotel this morning. There was a car out on the highway. Guy arm out the window just waving to me. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that we see you again next year. I hope you do too. And if not, in the next years to come, because I know that artists that come once tend to come by more than once. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back. <laughs> I well, love this place. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>